This is the new flagship of Princess's S-Class range, it's the S78, making its global debut here at Dusseldorf. With the largest MAN V12 1900 horsepower engines, it'll do 40 knots. Let's get on board and have a closer look. So, the S78, the most striking thing about the chance in this boat is that you have a central walkway which leads you up into the cockpit. To port is where you have the tender garage, that whole section lifts up and there's space in there for the tender. And you walk through this access hatch, lovely carbon fibre overhead shower just here, but then you walk through down into the crew accommodation, three berths in here and a separate bathroom and the crew also have direct access to the engine room. A couple of engine options, the highest power one that I think most people go for is the MAN 1900, top speed just shy of 40 knots. On smaller sports bridge models you do feel like you're losing out on flybridge space a bit but at this size, at this scale on the S78, the flybridge is a really big usable space. It's not set up for dining, it's set up for lounging, enjoying drinks, nightcaps, low slung, comfortable seating, low coffee table. It's a real chill out zone, not a formal sort of dining area. Forward, it's nice and simple. You have a twin helm, centrally mounted in the boat, which is nice. Nice clear view forward and then either side you have areas where guests can muster around the skipper when the boat's on the move. Up onto the main deck, we have this main seating area out here, sunbathing space, and the two areas join almost seamlessly. We have a window that hinges up, the doors slide across, and you have a completely flat threshold, so it's very easy to make your way into the saloon with its half galley layout, a little step down you can face out and serve your guests in the outdoor areas very easily. Full height fridge and freezer drawers. You can screen off this area with this sliding glass here. Main dining area aft here. Glass table it takes some looking after. And then a really sociable, quite interesting central seating area which really makes the most of these enormous windows. And like the top deck, it's low slung, it's casual, it's comfortable. The furniture choices for the Princess interior design team is top notch. And we move forward into the guest accommodation. If you go right forward, you have the VIP. Which is en suite, as you'd expect. Good sized bathroom. Then we move aft, we have a twin guest cabin, again with its own en suite. The day heads, and another guest cabin, a nice double here this time. then you move back up into the saloon. You have a quick peek at the helm station. Double helm seats, side door, always useful. This is a nice little area as well under the windscreen. I think you'd find yourself spending a lot of time here. Nice place for a morning coffee or somewhere to sit when the boat's traveling along. And then we have separate access to the master cabin. So this is totally private from the guest cabins and it's a seriously nice space. Flat floor, bags of headroom, really interesting use of furniture, textures, materials and colours. Really smartly done. Vanity station this side, making the most of the whole windows. And then we're into the bathroom, which is totally flat floor. When you come in and all the way out to the shower, his and hers sinks. 
very luxurious Mata suite. Moving out onto the foredeck, you have the Portuguese style seating. So you can easily get from one deck to the other when you're crewing, or when your crew are crewing, maybe. Sunbathing space here, nice detailing. You notice the detailing is exceptional in this boat. They've really thought about every tiny little detail. Wonderful, substantial ground tackle and mooring gear up front here. Of course, being a sports bridge, you have the flybridge and the sunroof. So you really have the best of both worlds.